the Sony Open. And we'll talk about the golf course and the tournament. So usually I like to have like a, a, a prompt up here to talk about or just a, like a, a cute little tournament information thing. I'm just going to spitball it for you guys. It's a par 70, just over 7,000 yards. Getting the all rounds under 70 is going to be pretty easy this week. Um, this golf course, pretty wide open. You can see there's not a lot of shot shapes that go that are required. The ones that you see on the screen are just shot shapes that I think will present the best scoring opportunity. Doesn't mean it's required. So just keep that in mind. I think you can hit just about any shot shape here and be fine. Hideki won this last year. He primarily hits a fade. You can see that a draw is probably a more preferential shot shape. It's not absolutely required. So nothing uh, to worry about there. There, are, there will be 144 golfers in this field. Currently, it's at 140. There's usually Monday qualifiers that fit in there or other kind of exemptions that get in there most it's mostly a, a qualifier that'll get four other golfers involved in this tournament so keep that in mind it is 144 which is kind of your standard tournament 156 is the max we'll see a lot of 132s moving forward um especially like on the west uh the west coast so keep that in mind with that being said though your strength of field at this event is actually lower than it was last year. So it's 259. You can also see this on the, the cheat sheet. I, I provide this for the cheat sheet. This is the old ranking of strength of field. So keep that in mind, 259. I think last year it was 286. And there was a bunch of withdrawals last year. I don't remember why, um, what would have caused that, but here's the cheat sheet. You can see that it's up here as well. Um, but yeah, I figured out pretty much to seven points what the old strength of field rating scale um what the calculation went into that so take it leave it i don't care i like using these better than the the new system just because i like seeing more points like a, a higher strength of field to really determine how much weaker a field is versus another it's just easier for me this way so i don't really want to talk about the architect because i don't really care i think it's i mean it's seth rayner you haven't seen other golf courses from him except for at the Greenbrier. And I don't think the Greenbrier is really a, a comp course to here. Plus, I don't think anyone really knows how to do comp courses all that well. There are some out there that are close. Like, I think I heard someone say, you know, Harbor Town was one. Some of the, some of the coastal co courses, because that's kind of what this is. I don't know. I don't know if I really buy into that. But sure, it's probably the closest that you'll get. But yeah, I think that's all that I have for the golf course and tournament information. 